Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Selenium interview questions. That is, what is the use of thread pool size attribute in test ng? Let me answer. By specifying this thread pool size attribute in test ng test methods, we are simply allocating multiple threads to run that particular test method, okay? If you are not specifying this attribute, only one thread will be allocated to run that particular test method. But if you are specifying the thread pool size, then multiple threads will be allocated to run that particular test ng test method. So what is the advantage of allocating multiple threads? By allocating the multiple threads, which we generally call as thread pool, okay, it will decrease the running time of the test method. The time that this particular test method will take to run, okay, will be decreased. I'll demonstrate with a practical example. So I'll switch to this Eclipse ID. I'll select one test method. Let's say this one test method. So this test method will run only one time. But what I will do for this example is I will add this attribute known as invocation count. Okay. Uh, I explained this invocation count related attribute in the previous session. Okay. Previous uh, interview question I answered this, right? I'm just giving the invocation count is equal to three. So when I run this, the same test method is going to run how many times because of this invocation count attribute, the same test method is going to run multiple times. That is whatever the number you give that many number of times, the same test method is going to run. So this print statement is going to be printed how many times in the output three times because the test method is going to run three times because of this invocation count. Let's run this. So let's see that this particular test method is going to run how many times? Three times it got run. The same test method got executed three times. You see the same print statement got printed three times. C2 test one executed. C2 test one got executed. C2 test one got executed. So the same test method got executed. So here, when it is getting executed, when this particular test method is executing multiple times, what happened in real time was, so here, there's a test method which need to run three times, right? Here, I was not using this thread pool size attribute, okay? In this particular example, I was not using this uh, thread pool size attribute. So what happens is by default, only one thread will be allocated to run this particular test method, to run this particular test and the test method, only one thread will be allocated. This particular test uh, will, will uh, be assigned to this particular thread and the test will run one time. After that, after that, since we provided invocation count is equal to three, what will happen once this particular test will run one time on this thread, once this thread will become free, then this same test will run second time. Once the thread becomes free, then once this uh, first time is completed, then the second time will start. And once the second time is also completed and the thread becomes free, then test will run for the third time. Okay. So here only one thread is allocated for this test method. Okay. Even though this uh, test method is running multiple times, we are allocating only single thread. So uh, the second run and third run need to wait for the same thread to become free. But what if I do something like this in this example, thread pool size attribute if I use. Okay, if I use this uh, thread pool size attribute, thread uh, pool size attribute, I will simply say three. What will happen in this case? If I give thread pool size is equal to three, then here instead of single thread getting allocated for the test to run, in this example, so there will be test one, test need to, the same test need to run, run first time, same test need to run second time, same test need to run third time. But here in this case, we have three threads. Okay, thread pool size is how much? Three. That means there are three threads allocated to run this particular test. So while the test uh, first uh, first run of this particular same test is uh, running on this uh, thread one, the second run of this uh, same test is going to run on the second thread and the third run of the same test is going to run on the third thread, okay? So this happens simultaneously and because of which, what is the advantage? Time will be saved. Time will be saved and uh, execution will be fast. Execution of this particular test multiple times will be fast because while the test is running on this thread, the second run is running on this thread, third run is simultaneously running on this thread because of this uh, pool size of the uh, thread pool, because of this uh, multiple threads that is a thread pool, okay, which is nothing but a thread pool. So, hope you understood what is the advantage of this, uh, thread, uh, this uh, thread pool size, okay. If I run this now, after mentioning this thread pool size equal to three, the same test is going to run three times, but uh, each and every run is going to run on the separate thread because we have three threads here allocated, multiple threads allocated. So execution will be a bit fast, okay? The execution will be a bit fast compared to the earlier, then you will get the result a bit faster, okay? You see, you got the results faster. So hope guys you understood what exactly is the use of uh, thread pool size attribute in test engine. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.